guys, it's you, Dad, and we are back with the Chicago Bulls, my league, my GM. Now, we were coming off a disappointing 36 and 46 season, despite having this crazy roster with Paul George, Levine, Kelly, Redick, Markinen, Port. I mean, this team is just stacked. We're weak at point guard and center, so the big goals this offseason are to find point guards and centers. Now, all the top prospects in this draft are like small forwards and shooting guards and all these things we don't need. But we have the number two pick in the draft. So let's see if we can get a point guard or a big man with this pick. They're willing to offer us Conley and Will Barton for Zach Levine in the pick. Now, you really don't want to trade the number two pick in the draft for someone who's 31 years old. And I don't really want to trade Levine, but we do have Redick. Barton is a good bench player. And we just need a point guard. I think this team is ready to contend for a title, so I think giving up the pick is honestly kind of fine. We could also trade it for Dennis Smith, which would be a better trade going forward, but it won't necessarily help us win the title now. We're going to do the trade for Dennis Smith because it says one year, but I know I get to sign him to a two-year extension soon, and I'll have the rights to him. The only problem with this trade is we have to take on Ryan Anderson's salary, but I think it's worth it. We get a point guard of the future, so we're going to make this trade. Team and player options, this is going to be big for us. Marketing, we're accepting. Autobio, accepting. Chris Dunn, ah... Uh... Yeah, we'll accept that. Just waiting on Bobby Portis to tell us if he's gonna accept my qualifying offer. I feel like I've been good to Bobby. You know, you punched Miritic in the face, you fractured his face, and I still kept you on the team. Sign with me. He accepted it, finally, after 18 days. Player progression, Kelly, Markinen, Levine, Dennis Smith, Adebayo, my young core. Woo, it's looking nice. In fact, I have a young player at every single position. I have built this team beautifully. All right, I'm gonna send Adebayo to untapped potential. He's still young. Now he has A potential. Kelly, I think he already was at pretty high potential. I'm too lazy to look. And yes, that did raise his potential. And finally, we're gonna raise Markinen's potential too, because he's also a youngin, and now he's at an A. So my young group is all super good potential. So the roster is looking very nice. We have a good player at every single position. So I even have a good bench depth too. Like this team is stacked. So let's see how we do. You know we're probably gonna lose a bunch of games to start off, all right? First game of the season, W, let's go. Second game, W, let's go. Hit me with a third dub. What, what? All right, Giannis, okay, you know, three and one, that's a good start. We really should be pulling more of these games out. There we go. All right, we're actually doing very well this season. You know, I actually took the time to get rid of the practices and stuff. So I don't need my players tired. Our chemistry, 90%. Our fan interest, 100%. Our rank in the conference, first. Hey, I'm not gonna make any trades. If we're winning like this, Paul George is staying, man. It does make me wonder why we did so poorly last year. Although we also have been lucky. No injuries so far. We're being offered a trade. I'm just gonna decline all trades, especially for Levine. I don't wanna trade Zach Levine. We're starting to get some L's here. This isn't good. All right, we're on a four game winning streak, five game winning streak, six game winning streak, seven? Seven game winning streak! Come on, make it eight, make it eight. Ah, we lost the Rockets. We just won the title, so that's not too bad of a loss. Uh-oh. Marketing is hurt. I'll have the CPU adjust the rotation this time. Playoffs is when I'll start meddling with it. For now, the oh god, the injuries are starting to come. Oh boy. Phil Jackson used to say teams that hit 40 wins before 20 losses were true championship contenders. We might do that. We need seven more wins and only three more losses to get to that point. All right, we took an L to start off. Another L. Bruh. Well, I guess we're not gonna be true championship contenders. It's these injuries. It's these injuries. That's why we're starting to falter. Still first in the conference, though. Even after four, five straight losses. Starting to hit a rough patch in the season here. We should get to 50 wins with this roster. There's no reason we don't get to 50 wins. Also, if we don't hit 50 wins, that would mean the East is trash. Because right now, we're leading the conference, even though our record is like, it's good, but it's not great. The first place team should have a better record than the one we have, you know? Well, now we're second, now we're first, now we're second. Come on, we need to pick up these late Ws. Let's get that first seed in the conference. And now Paul George is hurt. You guys are made out of glass. I literally never get hurt playing basketball. How did you break your left hand? How is that only a two-week injury? Bro, what? Bobby Portis is made out of steel. All right, we went 50 and 32. That's a huge improvement from last season. Giannis was MVP. Mark Stockton was Rookie of the Year. Vucevic, six man. Rudy Gobert, Depoy. D'Angelo, most improved. D'Antoni, Coach of the Year, two years in a row. None of our guys made the first team. 
None of our guys made the second team. None of our guys made the third team. None of our guys made a defense team either. Jesus. Our first round matchup is against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now let's check out our game plan because people are hurt. Yeah, Paul George is resting right now and Portis. So it's going to be a tough series. But that means Kelly finally gets to show himself on the grand stage against LeBron James. This will be a tough series with all the injuries we have, but we might be able to pull it out. We'll go game by game. And Redick is back. First game. Cleveland beat us in the first game. We beat Cleveland in the second game. Paul George is back. Let's see if that helps us win game three. We take game three. They take game four. Oh man, this guy go to seven. They took game six. All right, we're gonna simulate with SimCast. All right, hopefully we win this one. We should not lose to Cleveland. We are the number two seed. We should beat the seven seed. Even if they have LeBron James. They were the seven seed for a reason. Maybe LeBron was hurt the whole year and they're just a way better team than us. They are crushing us right now in this first quarter. We might have to step in. Come on, Bulls. Turn it around in the second quarter. Don't put me in too big of a hole. Come on, Bulls. All right, we're catching up. That second quarter was good for us. Kind of. Not good enough. But this third quarter, we're really storming back in it. Oh, we took the lead. They took the lead. All right, we're ki we killed them in the third quarter. Massacred them. And now we have a big lead in the fourth. Come on, we should be able to finish them off. Don't let Cleveland storm back. Don't let them storm back. We got this. We're going to go to... Should I play? Oh, my God. It's so close. It's so close. I'm gonna play the last 33 seconds. I, I don't wanna leave this to chance. Why are we both wearing white jerseys? All right, their ball. We're up two. All right, sorry, it's not, I didn't choose to wear white jerseys when they were wearing white jerseys. Oh God, LeBron versus Paul George. Paul George defending, ah, oh, LeBron hits it. Okay, buzzer beater time. I'm giving it to Kelly. This will be his career defining moment. Spread the floor, boys, for Kelly. All right, hit him with some Hezos, Kelly. All right, Kelly got past him. He's driving in. Oh no, oh no. Paul George, oh God, give it to Markkanen. This is an awful possession. Markkanen, oh, Markkanen missed. We're going into OT. I, I don't, <laughs> that was awful by me. It's so annoying how we're both wearing white jerseys. I don't understand why 2K would automatically do that. We win the tip. Kelly's gonna make up for his mistake at the end of the game. Run the pick and roll, okay. Markkanen. Auto oh god, I turned it over. I'm not used to this team. I can't tell who's who. The white jerseys are confusing me. And LeBron misses. Come on, Dennis Smith. Go all the way, Dennis. And one. And one. Out of bio. Out of bio. Whoa, out of bio. Sliding like crazy. Out of bio. And one. Oh, Markinen. Wow, they're not respecting Markinen's range. Wide open. Come on, Mark. Ah. All right, out of bio's running the break. Behind the back. Driving right into love. Out of bio, big moment. He's going up. He gets it. Oh, Dennis Smith's in the paint. See, I don't know who's on my team. Got to make the second one too. Come on, Dennis the Menace. Yes. Paul George versus LeBron in the post. And LeBron misses. Okay, we can take the lead here. Oh no, I turned it over. Uh oh, there's LeBron. Paul George defended that. Yes, he stopped him again. Out of bio driving past Thompson all the way. He gets fouled by LeBron. Come on, Big Bam. Yes, LeBron versus George again. It keeps going in our favor though. LeBron should stop shooting it over Paul George. He's going behind the back and Paul George's going all the way. And oh, if he finished that, that would have been a dagger. Paul George versus LeBron for like the fifth time. And Paul George blocks him. LeBron's too old. <laughs> I guess at this point in his career, this is like two years in the future from now. All right, game seven time. Come on, Bulls. Game seven at home. We should just run them over. All right, we did win the first quarter, and we're off to a good start in the second quarter. Ah, uh, they won the second quarter. We're still winning the game, though. It's another close one. I swear to God, if I have to play them, they're both wearing white jerseys again. I'm going to be pissed. All right, we don't have a big lead at all. They're doing well in the fourth. I don't want to have to step in. I don't want to have to step in. That's not what I want to have to do. I'm going to have to step in with a minute left. I have to step in. I need to give us the W, man. These games are too much of a nail biter. And this time we're both wearing red. What the? Oh, God. We give up a basket right away. Hopefully the next team we play, it's not doing this. Oh, Kelly is open for three. Kelly turned it over. Oh, my God. I suck with Kelly. I don't know how to use him properly. Am I really about to lose us game seven to the computer? We're down three. Come on, Paul George, go. Go, Paul George, all the way. And one, and one. Oh, so close. Come on, PG. Big free throws. Got the first one. Will I get the second one? Yes, I got the second one. Paul George versus LeBron. Here it is. I think I got it. Wow, LeBron scored that time. Shit. Kelly for three. Oh. 
And we we don't get it. We don't get it. I think I just screwed us. I should have just let it sim. Bro, it's because of the jersey colors. That's my excuse. Damn it. So with my Knicks team, I won it in the third year. This was the third year with the Bulls, and we did not win it. But I have a good feeling we're going to win it next season. My team is pretty good. Cleveland goes to play Warriors again, but they get swept by the Warriors. Steph Curry's an 86 overall, apparently. I don't... What? Check out the draft lottery. Not like we have any chance in it, but Raptors, the Mavericks, and the Kings with the top three picks. We have the 25th pick, and our staff's pretty good. CFO, we just need to get a new one. We'll get Benji Hamilton, and he accepted it. All right, let's go right to the draft. We only have the 25th pick, so we're probably not going to pick anybody new. And honestly, we're a win now team, so the draft's not where I really want to acquire players. But maybe we'll get something interesting with our pick. Let's see, we got trade offers for our 25th pick. Who could they be? Who wants that pick? Getting offered garbage players. Although, Zubach, we'll just keep the pick. Why not? Let's pick somebody. Well, according to my scouts, there's literally nobody available. So maybe we should do the trade, but these guys will come at a cheaper contract. I'm about to sign everyone to extension, so we need the cap space. We'll just draft the rookie. This was a bad draft. The top pick was only a 75 overall. So this was a good draft to not be involved in, honestly. Team player options were extending Kelly, of course, and Dennis Smith, along with Markinen and Adebayo. So I have no salary cap room again. We did lose Redick in the offseason, which hurt our depth. We all also lost Bobby Portis, so our depth was definitely hurt this offseason. We need a backup center, a backup shooting guard, and a backup point guard. So let's see if there's anyone in free agency we can get. Maybe Sullinger will sign with us. Redick will come back for like no money this season, which could be good for us. Two years on a minimum deal, and he agreed to come back, so we filled out our bench again. So Paul George got worse. Kelly got better, Smith got better, Markinen didn't even get that much better. I kind of predicted that in the first episode. I said, I don't know how good he'll ever get. That's why he wasn't the centerpiece of the team. Redick and Dunn both got a lot worse. They're bench players. Kelly, I was hoping would do better. He has A potential. Maybe he just needs the minutes, but Paul George has been sapping all the minutes. Now, I've pretty much done the potential for everybody, so now it's time for me to make them better. First thing is going to be Adebayo to big man offense. Maybe this will get him to an 80 overall. Going to send Markinen also to big man offense, so he's a beast down low. And we'll do perimeter defense for Kelly since he's our perimeter defender now. So our roster going into this next season. Dennis Smith, Zach Levine, Paul George, Markinen, Adebayo. Off the bench, we got Kelly. Sullinger, Reddick. We're not as deep as we were last year. We don't have a backup power forward. Maybe we could trade Dunn for a backup power forward. Backup power forward I need. So now the bench has an 89, a 79, a 78, a 76, and a 74. Much better bench. This team is looking really good. We should be contending for the first seed again. We'll find out on the next episode. Thank you guys for watching another episode of The Bulls, my GM. What do you think of my rebuilding effort? Do you think I've been making good moves? Do you think the team is as good as it could be? Honestly, I kind of think last year's team might have been a bit better than this year's team, but I'm excited to see what my young guns all in the starting lineup were able to do together. Hopefully it's good. Drop a like for this video. We came close. Didn't quite achieve our goals though. If you haven't already, man, subscribe to the channel and peace. Why always me?